Justinian with TALIS TCT, and this video is demonstrating the integration of UiPath and the Luna Credential System. While this video provides a quick run-through, TALIS TCT customers will find complete step-by-step -step instructions in the accompanying integration guide. The first step is to install the LCS client provided by TALIS TCT on the UiPath robot machine. Setup.exe installer checks the prerequisites and will install the required .NET Framework and Visual C++ components if they're not already on your machine. You will need to restart and launch the installer again. Launching the installer again proceeds without the prerequisites needing to be installed. Select all of the components and restart the machine after installation completes. The credential provider is not required, as UiPath has built-in support for logging into the robot machine using the credentials stored on the HSM. For this video, however, in an effort to align with the guide, the credential provider is installed so that the user can log into the system directly using LCS. As we watch the Luna Credential Client installation, I'm going to remind you of the prerequisites. First, machines should be joined to a domain before installation if they'll be used in a domain. A certificate authority should be available on the domain where the LCS is installed in order to create certificates for use with the LCS. Installation needs to be performed by a user with administrator rights on the workstation. UiPath Orchestrator, Robot, and Studio should be installed and configured. Orchestrator and Robot must be installed on separate systems. Studio is typically installed on the robot machine. LCS must be installed and configured on the robot machine. The HSM Administrator Password and Security Officer Password must be known. The HSM is installed and initialized, per the instructions in the HSM Admin Guide. The runpsadmin.bat file is found in the Program Files, TALIS TCT, LC Client Tools Directory. The LCS client includes scripts to automate the process of configuring the client. The first step is to run the Configure Client script with the Reconfigure option, specifying a client ID, an HSM IP address, and the user to log into the HSMS. This command creates the client certificate, using the client ID as the common name of that certificate, and then logs into the HSM at the IP address specified, sends the client certificate to the HSM, retrieves the HSM certificate, and registers that on the local client. The next command is a configure HSM command, the register client option, specifying here the client ID, the client name to use, and the IP address of the HSM. This will log into the HSM and register the client certificate that was already sent to the HSM. We'll use the client name option on the HSM to give it a name for the client. The next step, because this is a brand new LCS setup, will be to create a credential directory. This will be a single directory partition on the HSM, and that's used as a lookup table to find the various user credential bins. We use the configure HSM command with the create partition option, specifying the IP address of the HSM, a name for the credential directory, a domain string for that partition, we just use default, and the user to log in as on the HSM. The next step is to assign that partition to that client using the configure HSM command with the assign partition option. Give it the IP address of the HSM, the client name that we specified on the HSM, and the name of the credential directory partition. Now we'll repeat the last two steps to create another partition and assign it to the client, using it for the user credential bin. The directory will be used by the KSP to find out which user bin is assigned to this client. This new partition we're creating is the one that will actually hold the certificate and private keys for the user. Now, with both partitions created and assigned to the client, we'll use the configure client configure ksp command specifying the credential directory partition. This registers the ksp on the local system so that Windows knows which partition to use for the ksp. We'll use the whoami command to determine the Windows user principal name. The next step is to create an entry in the directory that associates the specified user, the UPN, with the specified user credential bin.
On the machine with the Enterprise CA, we'll navigate to the Certification Authority in the Server Manager. We'll manage the certificate templates. We'll navigate to a template that we know is properly configured for Smart Card Logon and duplicate this template. On the Compatibility tab of the Properties Forum, we'll edit the compatibility settings to reflect Certification Authority of Windows 2012 or later, and the Certificate Recipient to Windows 8.1, 2012 or later to ensure the use of KSP versus CSP cryptographic technology. On the Cryptography tab, the Provider category will be set to Key Storage Provider, and we'll select the option for Requests can use any provider available on the subject's computer. You may modify the name of the template on the General tab. To configure the CA to use the new template, We'll set the CA to use the new template for issuing certificate requests by right-clicking on the Certificate Templates and under New, select Certificate Template to Issue. Select the newly created template. Now we'll request a certificate for the LCS user. Now we'll verify proper operation. On the robot machine, at the login screen, select the user account and under sign in options, click the LCS provider icon. Enter the LCS user credential bin password and select the LCS user certificate that was created and press enter to log into using LCS. Now we'll configure UiPath to use LCS for logging into the robot machine. On the robot Luna client machine, we'll navigate to the UiPath installation directory and edit the file uipath.config. In the session settings entry, we'll modify it to contain the settings shown and save the file, which configures the robot to use LCS when performing a Windows logon. Next, we'll configure Orchestrator to use LCS for login. On the system running Orchestrator, navigate to the UiPath installation directory and edit the web.config file. We will edit the features.smartcardauthentication.enabled key to true and we'll save the file being sure to retain the file name and that it is not converted to a text file. This video presumes that you're likely familiar with the process of installing and configuring a new machine in robot, so these steps will be shown very quickly. Full details are provided in the integration guide.
enter the LCS user's password, and check the box that says the password represents a smart card PIN. To verify that the integration was successful, the orchestrator admin should start a job using the unattended robot that is integrated with the LCS and any previously configured automation process. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.